Hello, my friends. We are back to finish this puppy up. So um, it is me, Karen Valentine, and welcome to my channel. I'm so glad to have you here. Um, so we are pretty much at the um, near the finish line. And at this point now, I want to start adding in a few more grasses and... Uh, stuff like that. So I'm just going to um, go at it <clears throat> and um, see what happens. <laughs> Hopefully it works out okay. So um, one of the things that I like about photographing my, um, my work along the way is that for some reason I see things in photos that I don't notice as much um, in person. So as I was looking at it, um, I thought to myself, you know what, I really wish there was some darker green over here. So I'm going to add a bit of darker green over here. This is um, the olive green Carbothello. As, <clears throat> as I had mentioned in my last video, I was very um, disheartened at the, um, at the amount of non-light fast pencils in some of my, um, sets. And, um, especially oddly enough in the pit pastels, there, the green, like there are no, there are no really good light fast greens, which I found to be very strange. Um, I kind of always thought that it was the purples and reds and pinks that were, um, you know, pretty non-light fast. And so I'm not quite sure why Pitt can't make light fast greens. So, um, I realized that <clears throat> I had used some pits in doing these, um, <clears throat> Excuse me, in doing these grasses. So I'm just going to, I'm going to not stress about it because truthfully, um, I don't know, you know, it's not like they were zero light fast. They just weren't, um, you know, a very high light fast rating. And so. I'm just going to keep working, and in this case, I'm not going to stress about it. So, um, let's see. I want to be able to get to here. All right, I'm going to start by just kind of re-establishing some of these stems a little bit more. Um, so the colors that I'm using, um, that way I can pop back and forth between all of them. Leaf green, which is 560. 585 is olive green. 570 is leaf green middle. And 575 is just plain leaf green. So all the leaf greens, pale, middle, regular, and then olive looks like is what I've got here. Plus my white and I probably should pull out a brown. Sharpen up my white a little bit more. Okay, so, um, as always, I mean, I think for everybody, um, some of this stuff does get, it gets scary because you spent so much time on your subject and then it's like you come to the background or other elements and it's you get nervous about like not doing it. I don't want to be that. I want to be bold and um, try to do this. So that is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm not sure what color I want to use and I'm not exact. I think Let's try 
maybe a one that goes off this way right in front. And I'm not going to blend that. I'm going to not touch it because I want it to stay, um, especially on, t on the rabbit. I actually might add some, eesh, um, some of this leaf green pale. lower. Okay, that's... Um, it's interesting. I'm, <clears throat> I'm curious if I'm coming to the kind of end of the tooth. Not that it's not grabbing, but it feels like it's um, like the pencils are powdering a little bit more right now. And I'm not I'm not sure why. Okay, I know I liked adding the brown before, so I'm going to do some of that. This is Beaster. And then I'm just going to press. Um, Got to be careful about it keeping that paper on here, otherwise I will smear away what I've done, and we don't want that. Um, but it does help for me to see. <sighs> Maybe it needs to, we need to do another one. I think I want, this is the light, uh, gold ochre light.
<clears throat> I don't know what to do. I'm being a big chicken. Um, another part of me wonders if I should do a bit. I don't want to go too crazy, but I, I, <clears throat> I, I want it to look, you know, like he's sitting amongst the grasses, which means I kind of have to have some stuff in the front. Um, I could maybe do one here, but some, I, all right, I'm just, I'm going to, going to do a few. Um, okay, that's, that's okay. <laughs> that works. Let's do something lighter over the top. So we get a few, like some that are, <clears throat> that are in the back and some that are in the front. And of course, I kind of wish I would have left my um, <clears throat> my tape on because I know this is so stupid. This is not necessary. It's just my own <laughs> my own eye not liking the messy. Um, all right, I I don't mind that. So I'm gonna do some of that. I'm going to use a dark color, a light color, and an even lighter color. I'm okay with that. Can you see that? Of course you can't. Okay, so let's do... <clears throat> I'm almost tempted on having a little bit of white clover peeking up from Um, something about this angle <laughs> is too much for me. <sighs> I don't think I want one straight up. And I don't think I want it coming from here. I'm wondering if I cr cross it. Um, darn, I don't know what to do now. I feel like I don't like what I did here. Um, I want them to be able to be all messy, though, and that's what I'm not achieving yet. Yeah, I think I just need to be brave. Um... Let's pull out a lighter brown, like, not sure how much lighter this is, but let's do a, I'm going to do this one in brown. up a little bit. Okay, let's 
this isn't sharp enough either. Okay, I like that. Let's do another brown one. may be coming dangerously close to where the matting is going to be. I'm so glad I added this brown in here. <clears throat> I'm wondering if adding a tiny little bit of green into it as well. Maybe. Oh, that made all the difference. That's That makes me happy. <laughs> okay, let's do a brown one over here. really, really like the brown. I'm going to do some more brown. Um, well, that messed up. Let's get that.
Okay. I'm pretty happy with this. I'm debating on if I want to add a little more just kind of random bits of brown in here. <laughs> I should have done that before I started filming. Okay. Um, I am I'm pretty happy about this. Well, that eraser works pretty well <laughs> on the uh, pastel mat. All right. I'm going to do one more. Sorry, got to just give it a little bit of a tune-up here. Okay, so now the question is, do I want just a little bit of white peeking out? Um, like there's another flower on here somewhere. Um, I kind of feel like I want a little bit more white on here somehow. And am I happy with the white that I have on here? Um, this area looks to me like there was a grass piece that went up. There's a little weird, and I might have accidentally blended that out. So I'm going to put that in.
again, it's one of those things where you're like, oh man, I don't know if I want to mess it up. It's a bad attitude to have, really, as an artist. I don't want to be afraid to try new things, to try and do things that make a piece better. I think that that, um, you know, that comes over time. I think you get to the work to the point where you um, get braver. Basically, every time you, every time you do experiment, you do try something new, and it's successful. You get more comfortable with doing it. And now there will be times when I mean, I'm not. I've had it happen to me. Everybody has it happen to them. When you try something and you and you don't like it. And um, when that happens, you either work on it until you fix it. Well, hopefully you work on it until you fix it. And if you can't fix it, then you tuck it away in an in a in an album or in a somewhere you tuck it away and you learn from it you take every piece that you work on every piece you do as a teaching learning um, moment a learning moment and with every piece you do hopefully you learn something and you get a little bit better every time I do not like what I had, what I did over here. Um, somehow I managed to, when I blended out those grasses, I, um, I smeared, I smeared the green too far up into the, into the pinks and oranges. So. I'm gonna see if if using these um, lipstick applicators might help rub out what I did. And if not, then I'll I thought I had all of the um, pastel pretty worked in there so that that wouldn't happen, but. Apparently not. Um, that is the nature of the pastel though. I mean, it does, the pastel mat holds the pastel pr pretty well, but when you, um, when you frame pastels, and I rubbed this all out too, when you frame pastels, um, you need to make sure that you always frame them off of the glass. You, know, you don't ever, ever want to have the pastel touch the glass. And, um, There's a special way to mat them so that there's a little bit of a gap um, between the painting and the um, and the mat, so that if if as it's hanging there in your in your home, um, if by any chance any of the little pastel particles fall. They fall down um, behind the mat and not um, and don't sit on the mat ledge. All these fun little things that you learn. All right. Um, I might be. I might be pretty darn close to done. I like the addition of the grasses. Um, very much. I don't want to go too crazy because I really do want the rabbit to be the focus. Um, so, I think the grasses are good. I'm still debating on a little bit of white clover right here peeking up. 
I'm wondering if I will be able to cover it with more green if I don't like it. <laughs> oh. Because for me, it's like, well, there's one flower. Where are all the rest of the flowers that, that would be in the field? Now, granted, you know, they're, you can't really see them, but I'm debating on... Oh, man. Okay. See, the problem is I don't know exactly what it would, how it should look. And I'm afraid if I just put leaves, like three petal leaves sticking up. Oh, just go for it, Karen. Good grief. Just... use some of that um, what's that stuff what uh, prismacolor some of that prismacolor a new pastel I think to make this a little bit wider all right I'm I'm gonna stop there I'm gonna pull out some of that what did we use Let's try Capitmorton Red. That's one of the colors that we used. Anyway, and a little bit of dark flesh tint, maybe. Okay. And the, um, Prismacolor New Pastel in white. looks much um, bolder on the in the camera lens than it looks in person and I feel like I rubbed it all away but I didn't like how it was so bright Okay, I'm glad I did it. I like it. It's just a little bit of extra. Um, okay, well, so I don't, I don't know what happened there. Um, somehow I managed to turn the camera off. Um, but thankfully, I really didn't do um, anything else to the piece other than just... Um, uh, yeah, I really didn't do anything else to the piece. So the the video that I lost was just me saying goodbye. 
So um, I'm, I'm really quite happy with how um, it turned out. Um, I, I like that we changed up the background. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I have no major complaints. I'm pretty happy. So hopefully um, you enjoyed the videos. Maybe you learned something. Um, if you are interested in learning from um, very experienced, very um, wonderful teachers, as I um, had said in previous videos, I have linked um, Jason Morgan and Zara Tom's um, YouTube channels down in the description box below. Um, they also both have Patreon um, uh, accounts, pa Patreon uh uh, pages. I don't even know what you call a Patreon thing. Anyway, um, and I learned a lot from um, from watching them work um, and listening to them talk while they're working. So, um, yeah, um, there are other um, incredible teachers out there as well. Those are just the two that I um, have felt a... Um, kinship to so to speak and have felt like you know they um th their style of teaching um worked well with uh, for me so anyway um i will be back again for um some more um videos soon and until i see you then take care of yourselves take care of each other and have a wonderful wonderful day <laughs> Thanks. Bye.